Yeah. Well, I I think uh, I think uh, the first obvious use is to use it, use it in small groups of people who are gathered around a crisis in their life. So if you gather seven people that have just working through a divorce, or a group of people that have lost a child, or a group of people that are caring for an aged parent with Alzheimer's, that, that way. But in order to do that in such small pastoral settings, I think you have to do them on Sunday morning with, with, a, lot of, uh, with a lot of interpretation so that people can understand what we're doing. See, I think it's more important for the church to be the most honest place in town than it is for the church to be the happiest place in town. We, we, have, we have joy for good reason, but we also have deep wounds of many kinds, and those need to be at the center of our liturgic life, I think. So uh, I, I think that that in my church where we used four lament psalms on the four Sundays in Advent, I, I think it was, a, I think it was a, a very sobering preparation for Christmas, because if you, if you voice the troubles, then when the Christ child is born, it feels like a real gift. But if you're happy all the way through Advent, yeah, whatever. You know, so that's what I think. I, I think the, 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 uh, the, the lament psalms need to be used carefully, and uh, I, I, if, you, if you're working at introducing them to a group of people, I wouldn't start with the angriest ones. I'd, I'd uh, work up to it. But, but one, of the, one of the questions, one of the nice questions you can use is to ask the group or whoever, Whose psalm do you think this is? One summer I was uh, teaching summer school at uh, Union Seminary in Richmond and I was doing the lament psalms. And teaching another class was a very arrogant theologian from Yale. And he said at lunchtime to me, I don't know why you do those psalms, I've never been that angry. And I thought, well, if I were tenured at Yale, I wouldn't be either. And then, then uh, someone who knew him said, you ought to know his wife, because of him, he ha she has to use these lament psalms every day. <laughs> so what I would say, and this would apply to Psalm 139, if you have a psalm like that and, say, and you want to say, that's not where I'm at, then ask yourself, who can you think of is that, that is at that today? Pray with them and for them. So if you get a really angry psalm and you can't identify with it, uh, think about a mother in Baghdad whose son got her his legs blown off. You can get into that and so on and so on. Uh, so the, the psalm is not always about me. It's... Uh, it's about some other member of the human family or maybe some other member of the church family. Uh, that's how I would approach it. So I think it's a very good access point to ask who's speaking here.